Well, this morning is the morning. I have an appointment at Gainesville Raceway to have the cage certified that I put in this. I gotta be there at 10.30. It's currently like 8.30. So, uh... We're gonna give it a shot, see if uh, what I did is up to it. Hopefully it'll pass and uh, I don't have to worry about anything anymore. All right, well, I gotta tie up all this stuff, all the loose ends, get it ready for travel. Back the truck up to the ball and hook it up. So, and get some coffee. So let me go do that and uh, I gotta tighten this down too. I finally got a tire for this was blown out for a while all right let me get everything situated and we'll get on the road all right that's it I'm all loaded up <laughs> got her connected it's not really centered on the trailer but I don't think it's heavy enough to matter I noticed the chains are almost on the ground anyway let's hit the road this is it we're on our way I forgot my little uh mount to stick the camera to the window so I got you guys down in my bezel hopefully you can see me I'm on my way here uh, 19 minutes away I just stopped and got fuel I wanted to talk a minute uh, about you know going into this whole thing everything I've pretty much ever done in my life I've just been like uptight about it I mentioned before how I raced uh, the Mazdas and stuff with like SCCA and you know an occasional you know screwing around with your buddy on a back road drag race kind of thing but that's the closest I've ever gotten to drag racing by no means was it like you know official or anything it was just uh, like I said just back road fun so this is my first time that I'm putting something together to actually go and try to compete It'll be at a novice level, I'm by no means an expert, and uh, you've seen what I'm working with. My little blazer is by no means uh, an expert machine, so uh, it's going to be a learning curve for me. I'm doing it for fun. If I go out and something happens, so be it, you know. So hopefully, see if I meet somebody today at uh, Gainesville. You know how vehicles bring people together. I might meet some some guy that's just head over heels for these blazers and uh, can teach me a couple things. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about right now. Um, I just need to lighten up a little bit, have some fun. That's why I'm doing this. So, <laughs> all right. I'll turn the camera back on uh, once I get to the spot. All right, well, uh, let me get settled in here and uh, see what I can record once I'm inside. All right, well, that went well. Um, I didn't want to have the camera out like in front of the inspector's face like I've never done this before. I don't, you know, I don't like people in my face when I'm doing my job. And I certainly didn't want to piss the guy off. So I stayed the heck out of his way. But uh, we did it. I got it. Uh, it's inspected to 8.5. Put the sticker on there for me. I can uh, continue on with this project. And that's like, that's a huge hurdle like off of my chest, you know what I mean? So that's it, I'm gonna go home and uh, do weekend things. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to touch this at all, but <laughs> um, that was one major thing that got out of the way. All right, we'll catch up, we get the house. 
All right, just pulled up at a gas station, get a quick drink. I didn't even see the sticker he put on here yet. Let's check it out. There she be. All right, one less thing I gotta worry about. All right, so I'm back home. My uh, whole experience with that was, it was pretty easy, pretty laid back. When I first got there, I um, they told me where they were doing the inspections, and uh, it was kind of like in a like chain link fenced area where a canopy was. And um, I walked over, and there was two inspectors. I guess one was like training, and the other one was the actual official inspector. And then there was three or four cars there, and like I didn't want to bother them. So I kind of stood there for a little bit, and he was taking his sweet time. Both of them were, and. Um, I was kind of scoping out, seeing how everything was going, and I was like, well, I'll just pull up with my truck and the trailer. And uh, I pulled up, he got done doing what he was doing, he walked over to me and he's like, he's like, you're gonna have to take that truck off the trailer, I'm not gonna crawl around the trailer inspecting it, you know, and I'm like, I thought it was kind of weird because I figured on the trailer it'd be easy, easier, but he just said that it's, he, he wasn't gonna do that, he wants it on the ground. And uh, he instructed me to park over by this gate and um, I unloaded the tray of the truck there and uh, that's where he did the inspection. But it was pretty straightforward. He he uh, he said something to the other guy, his helper, something about something about square footage or something that he went over, looked in his book. And then the next thing I know, he's asking me to pay for the thing and give me the sticker and all that. So I don't know what he found or what he thought. Maybe, you know, everybody else that was there. Um, it was like full tube chassis, like I, <clears throat> I was the only one with like a little 10 point thing, you know, like a, uh, a not tube chassis thing, you know what I mean? So, um, the books that he had, I was kind of looking at, they were very intricate in like all the tubing that goes into them. I had a basic set, so he was in and out, you know, it was easy for him to do. But uh, that was it. I, like I said, I, I apologize for not recording the actual process, but I didn't want to have like my GoPro out while he was doing his thing like i said i i don't like it when like i don't mind if somebody's like watching me do my job but like if somebody starts recording what i'm doing you know it's kind of like what are you doing you know what i mean so i i didn't want to be that guy especially my first time around i was super nervous that you know he was going to start asking me a bunch of questions that like either i didn't know the answer to or you know because that was just the jegs cage you know a 10 point cage right from jegs it was a pre-bent uh, you saw the two front bars. I had to bend myself, which I honestly thought he was going to say something about that, but he just checked the, um, he has like a go, no go gauge to check the pipes. He had a little box that told him how thick the walls were. And then, um, he kind of just glanced over the welds. He really didn't, I thought they were going to really critique each weld and inspect every weld. And, uh, they just kind of ran their fingers over them all, I guess, just to make sure they were complete. And, uh, that was it. So that's all that's all i have to say for this experience that's one more thing off the the checklist that has to be done now i can begin like assembling the truck i just went over and had some friends help me bolt the battery and the uh nitrous tank hold downs because someone had to be on the outside to hold the nuts so i got that taken care of now i can start putting the tank in put the transmission in that sort of stuff and uh We'll see. I'm 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 super busy right now. January. Um, hopefully, hopefully by the end of January I can have it to where, um, you know, I can at least have it running. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, um, a couple of the big things, like I said, the steering column. I got those things ironed out to where it's not. Uh, I, I figured it out. So anyway, that that's my experience with with the. Uh, cage certification i uh, hope somebody could take something away from this like i said I, I i wish i could have recorded the whole process but i just i didn't want to but um till the next one we'll catch you later